Welcome to Kelly the Nurse. It is spaghetti night. We're going to do a short little video on spaghetti. Spaghetti is very popular, very easy to prepare. Uh, you can prepare a batch and eat for several days on that spaghetti and it's very economical. The pasta itself is zero sodium. There's no sodium in pasta that's prepared like this. Dry pasta, no seasoning, no additives. But spaghetti sauce is a different matter. Spaghetti sauce in the jars or in the can can be quite high. So if you use one of them, be very mindful of how much you're putting on your spaghetti. This one has uh, 500 milligrams in half a cup. If you choose to eat for dinner zero sodium pasta with one half of a cup of sauce, you're going to be fine. But that means that there's obviously no garlic bread and be very careful with your salad because salad dressings are very high in sodium. You can get another type of jarred sauce and save a little bit. This one is 400 milligrams, again, for half a cup. And here on the West Coast, we found this one. And it says no salt added careful when you see labels like no salt added because then you think oh sodium free salt free not necessarily there's still some salt in here but it is only 40 milligrams for half of a cup so this option this particular option no sodium added flip it over like you do with all your labels and that is 40 milligrams so if you can find this particular brand where you live this is a way to add very low sodium sauce with zero sodium spaghetti let me tell you what happens when you can do that and pair these two and keep your serving of spaghetti under 100 calories that gives you a little extra sodium to have a piece of bread you can cautiously do a little garlic bread if you just mix some garlic and some butter and do a thin coat and broil up a piece of garlic bread you can enjoy this kind of meal as long as you stick with very low sodium spaghetti sauce now for those of you out there who make your own sauce i have nothing but respect for you i don't but be careful because i hear it's homemade about all kinds of foods like soups and sauces well when it's homemade if you make it with fresh tomatoes and herbs fresh herbs dried herbs onions garlic it's going to be no sodium very low sodium if you're making your homemade spaghetti sauce by opening a lot of cans of tomato and tomato paste your homemade is going to be very high in sodium and this is a better option for you or your grandma or your grandpa if you're making spaghetti sauce for them so be very careful that you take a traditionally an economical delicious and very popular meal like spaghetti be careful because you can turn that meal spaghetti into just an incredibly high sodium food with a lot of garlic bread the salad dressing on the salad and then the sauce so follow these ways perhaps you can find this particular sauce doctor it up with all the fresh herbs that you choose to and then you can enjoy some very low sodium spaghetti you can make some low sodium meatballs freeze them and then access them to add some lean protein to your pasta meal fantastic for diabetics and for people with heart failure as long as your meatballs start with ground beef and fresh herbs or dried herbs and onion and garlic and not packets that you open or jars that you untwist because very often those kinds of things are high in sodium so enjoy spaghetti just do it the low sodium way